All right, this is it. This is our very last math video. And if you've made it with me this far, I'm so proud of you. Um, I, I went through and sorted your papers and a few of you that turned in assignments on May 1st turned in some pages that were incorrect. So I wanted to <clears throat> give you all the page numbers that um, I'm going to be um, collecting if you have not already turned them in. So page four, so write these down. Grab a pencil and write these down. Page 499, page 505, page 511, page 517, page 531, 537, 553, 559, 565. So those were the assignments for packet number three. And then the assignments that, and so if you missed any of those, bring them with you on Thursday, May 14th. <clears throat> these are the ones that you will have not turned in yet, but these are the ones that I need on May 14th. Page 571, page 611, 651, 657, 721, 727, 733, and 741. So make sure you get all those pages to me. Okay. Very last video. Can you believe it? We're almost done. You need to now turn in your math book to page 737. And we're going to talk about how to find unknown measures. This is lesson 13.4, and your assignment today is 741, the last one. All right, here we go. And it's a beautiful sunny day, and I have the blinds open, so you should be able to see the screen. So let's get to it. Okay. <clears throat> The essential question says, how can you find an unknown measure of a rectangle given its area or perimeter? So we've already talked about how to find the area and perimeter of rectangles. Super quick review. To find the perimeter of a rectangle, um, you, you can use a formula. Perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width, and whoops, get out of the way, okay. So the length here we'll use six, so two times six is 12, the width is five, so two times five is 10. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 22. The area, of the rectangle, area equals base times height, and um, we can use six as the base and five as the height, so the area would be 30 units squared, units because I didn't give you inches or feet or meters or miles or any of those measurements. So, that's a super quick review. Now, we have been doing for um, perimeter and area, using our formulas, we've been multiplying. And when you multiply something together, or when, when you find a product and you need to work backwards from the product, like the area or perimeter, to the um, uh, parts, then you have to do the opposite of multiplying, which is divide. Just like with adding and subtracting, if I know that four plus six equals 10, and I, um, and I'm gonna erase this six here and say four plus question mark equals 10. Well, the way that we would find that question mark is by finding the difference or subtracting. 10 minus four is six, so this missing number is actually six. So that's just kind of how we're going to go about finding unknown measures um, with rectangles.
Okay. Here we go. Tanisha is painting a mural that is in the shape of a rectangle. The mural covers an area of 54 square feet. The base of the mural measures nine feet. What is the height? Okay, so here is Tanisha's mural. And we know that the base equals nine feet. And the area equals 54 square feet. So we've got to find out what this missing measure is. Some of you are really like, I already know what it is. I bet. Okay. So, but we've got to go through the steps. What do you need to find? The height of the mural. Okay, that's what we need to find. Um, what information do you know? We know that the area equals 54 square feet and the base equals nine feet. Okay, so we need to find the height of the mural we know that the area equals 54 square feet and the base of the mural is nine feet. Okay, so let's put down in our model here that the area equals 54 square feet and the base equals nine feet. So, um, then we can start plugging in. So the formula that we're using, it says write the formula for area. Area equals base times height. And then our area is 54, so we plug that in times is equals nine times the height. So now we have to figure out what do you multiply nine times to get 54? Well, if we come over here to our nine row and we find 54 and then we go up, it's six. So nine times six equals 54. So the value of, it should be, this should be an H here. Um, the value of H is six. I don't know why they're saying think N is the height. Why would you use N for the height when we know H stands for the height? I don't know. We're using H because we've already been using it. So the height of the mural is six feet. Okay. And we can go back and double check and say, okay, if this were to say six feet, and nine times six is 54. Remember our nifty nines trick? We put up our fingers, can you see my fingers? Like this, and if we're multiplying nine by six, we go start on the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, that finger goes down, and then we have five tens, which is 50, and four ones, which is four. So nine times six is 54. All right. Um, it wants you to, to know how can you use division to find an unknown factor. So if we know the product and we know one of the, um, uh, one of the factors, then we can use division to find the other factor. So our, um, product becomes our dividend and the factor that we know becomes our divisor, and then the unknown factor becomes our quotient. Okay, so if you think back to the parts of a multiplication problem, um, our factor times factor equals product, and if we need to work backwards, our product becomes our dividend.
dividend. Um, and then we divide that by our divisor. I'm having trouble writing today, divisor. And that equals a quotient. Okay, so when we have an unknown factor, we can plug in our product as our dividend, the factor we know as our divisor, and the factor that we are working to figure out becomes our quotient. Okay, hopefully I didn't just confuse you more than anything, but that vocabulary is important. Okay. Oh, guys, I set, there it is. I set my pen down and I don't have you guys to help me find it. Okay. What if the mural were in the shape of a square with an area of 81 square feet? What would the height of the mural be? Okay. Um, if you recall, the area for a square is side times side. And so if we know that this times this equals 81 um, square feet, then we know since it's a square, these two numbers have to be the exact same, okay? So what are two numbers that, that are the same number that multiply together to get 81? Well, if we go to our multiplication table and look for 81, I only see 181 right there, and it is on the 9 row, and if I go up, it's 9. So here's what we're going to write down. Um, what would the height of the mural be? 9 feet. nine times nine equals 81 and since the mural is square both factors or sides are the same length. Okay? I wish I could ask you guys right now if you understood that. So, um, basically I just took 81 and thought what are two numbers that multiply together to get to 81 that are the same number and that's where knowing your multiplication facts really well will help a lot okay um, explain how you can find an unknown side length of any square when given only the area of the square um, so here's what we're going to write down. The base and height of a square are the same length. The base and height of a square are the same length so we look for two of the same number that when multiplied together equal 
B area of the square. The base and height of the square are the same length, so we look for two of the same number that when multiplied together equal the area of the square. So another example might be if you know that the area of the square is 9, okay? Um, area of that square equals 9 inches squared. And you say to yourself, hmm, what two numbers can I multiply together that are the same that equal 9? Well, that would be 3, right? Because 3 times 3 equals 9. It would be the same for um, 36. You could do 6 times 6 is 36. 5 times 5 equals 25. 8 times 8 equals 64, 7 times 7 equals 49. So you're looking for two of the same number uh, when you have a square. That makes it kind of easier. Okay, um, example two, find the an unknown measure given the perimeter. Okay, Gary is building an outdoor pen in the shape of a rectangle for his dog. Good old Gary. He will use 24 meters of fencing. The pen will be three meters wide. How long is the pen? So, here we have the pen that Gary is building for his dog. We know the perimeter is 24 meters. And we know that it's three meters wide. So we need to find the length. Now here's the thing, probably some of you are like, oh I know it's eight, because eight times three is 24. Eight times three is 24, but we are looking for the perimeter this time, not the area. So we have the perimeter. So think about our formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. So what it is, is perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, okay? So now we've got to plug in what we know, and we know that the perimeter is 24, and we know that the, um, and 2 times the length, we know that the width, of course, is 3, so 2 times 3, and then we can work from there to figure out this L. Let's see how they have us do it. So, perimeter equals 24, and 2 times um, the length, and 2 times the width, which we know is 3. So that means that um, 24 equals 2 times the length plus 6, because 2 times 3, of course, is 6. So now we've got a thing that looks like this. So now we've got 24 equals 2 times the length plus 6. So now we need to think. What do you add to, tw um, to 6 to equal 24? Well, we can find the difference, right? Because we know, just like when, when I started, I showed you with 10. If we've got 24 and we need to figure out um, equals um, something plus 6, we do 24 minus 6. 4 minus 6, can't do it, so you take um, 1 from the 2, make it a 1, make that a 14. 14 minus 6 is 18. The, that's still not the length, though, because this whole thing equals 18, but we're looking for this number. So what do you multiply 2 times to get 18? 
Well, if I go to my two row and I find 18 and go up, it's nine. So the actual length is nine meters. Now, so 18 plus six was 24, and two times nine was 18. So the value of n in this case, they did n again, is nine. So the pen will be nine meters long. It um, makes it easy to, once you work your way through the problem, perimeter is a little bit trickier and um, than area because area you just divide, but perimeter you have to kind of work through it a little bit. So once you get that, you can say, okay, we, I, I know that my, um, my formula for the perimeter is two times the length plus two times the width. And I know that, um, so the perimeter, and we figured out that the length equaled nine, and nine times two is 18, and then two times three is six, and 18 plus six equals 24. So we know we've got it right. Um, you could also kind of look at it this way and say, okay, so I've got this perimeter, or this dog pen, and I know that the width is three, and this one's three, and I know that all together it's 24 feet. So three and three is six, and um, 24, take away the six, is 18. So I know that this side plus this side add up to be 18. So then you just basically have to cut that 18 in half and say nine and nine. So nine and three is 12, nine and three is 12, 12 plus 12 is 24. So that's the way you can kind of do it um, with a, a model. Okay, so the perimeter of a square is 24 feet. Find the side length, okay. So our perimeter equation for a square was perimeter equals four times S, because remember perimeter, we add all the sides together. So if they, if in order to find the perimeter of a square, you multiply one of the side lengths times the four sides, um, it's, pretty easy to find the missing side length of the square because you're just gonna take the perimeter and divide it by the four sides. So if this perimeter is 24 feet and I'm gonna go 24 divided by the four sides will give us the side length. So go to your four row, find 24, go up. So each one of these sides then measures Six. six plus six is 12, six plus six is 12, 12 plus 12 is 24, okay? So what we did here is they want us to draw a model. So here's my square, and I know that side length, side length, side length, and side length all add up to be 24 feet, the perimeter equals, and if 24 equals four times the side length, then we can say, well, 24 divided by four equals the side length, and the missing side length then is six. So six feet, okay? And what, what I did there is I just um, worked backwards. I knew if I was multiplying here, I needed to divide to um, find the missing factor. Okay. Find the unknown measure. The area of the rectangle is 36 square feet, okay? So they've given us the formula for the area of a rectangle. It's base times height. And they've given us one of the factors, which is three. So area, 36 square feet equals base times the height.
height, which is three feet. And um, since they're multiplying, we have to divide. So we're div um, going to turn 36. So 36 equals base times three. And in order to find this missing factor, we have to divide 36 by 3. So 36 divided by 3. 3 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 is less than 3. Bring down the 6. 3 goes into 6 twice. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. 0 is less than 3. So the base is 12. And we're talking about feet. So the missing value is 12 feet. Okay, find the measure of the unknown measure of the rectangle. Okay, so our perimeter is 44 and the side length is 12 centimeters. Here are the formulas. Um, I'm going to list the formulas super quick so you'll have them all um, in one spot. So perimeter of a rectangle equals um, 2 times length plus 2 times width and then the perimeter of a square so this is a rectangle this is a square a perimeter of a square is 4 times the side length and then the area of a rectangle, I didn't give myself enough room to draw a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle equals base times height, and the area of a square um, equals side times side. So these are the things that you're going to have to um, know to complete today's assignment. And if um, you want, you can write those down on a, a separate piece of paper. Okay, so number two says they're giving us the perimeter and this is a rectangle. Okay, so that would be this one that we're going to use. So. Perimeter equals, actually, I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to use this instead of copying it down each time. I'm going to say the perimeter is 44 centimeters equals, and we know that the um, length is 12 centimeters, so 2 times 12 plus 2 times the width, okay? 2 times 12 is 24, um, plus 2 times the width, and 44 equals. So now I've got to, um, we're kind of using this as one number here for now. So I've got to find out what that number is and then I'm gonna divide it by two, since it's multiplied by two. So 44 minus 24 equals 20. So that means this shape right here equals 20. But we've got to figure out what you multiply times two to get 20. So if I go to the two row and I find 20 and go up, our width is 10, and we're talking about centimeters. And then we can, of course, check it, 10 centimeters. And just to make sure that we did everything right, so let's, so perimeter, you add all the sides together. So here's the shape, so 10, 12, 12, 10. So 12 plus 10 is 22, and 12 plus 10 is 22, and 22 plus 22 is 44. And that's what they said, so we know that we got that one right. Okay, um, next, the area 
that. Oh, these are easy. Okay, the area is 108 square inches, and we just need to find the height. They gave us the base. So area of a rectangle equals base times height. And so 108 is the area equals nine times the height. So we have to ask ourselves, what do we multiply nine times to get the height? So we come over here to the nine row, look for 108, there it is, go up. So the missing number is the height is 12. So the height is 12 inches. And you can check that by saying is 12 times 9, 108? Yes, it is. So we're good to go. See, area is easier. Okay. And then area here is 90 square meters with a base of, um, with a height of 5, and we don't know the base. So 90 equals 5 times the base. Okay, or base times five. We'll do it in the right order. Base times five. Okay, so in order to find this, we have to divide 90 divided by five. Five goes into nine one time. One times five is five. Nine minus five is four. Four is less than five, so we can bring down our zero. Five goes into 40 eight times. Eight times five is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0, 0 is less than 5, there's nothing left to bring down. So our base is our quotient, which is 18. 18 meters, okay? Um, on your own, there's four problems there. And so you can pause it, you'll still need to know this stuff to do the problems on your own. I'm going to take a drink. And then you can resume and see if you got it right. I'm back. Okay. Um, here we go. So we're dealing with perimeter of a rectangle. So perimeter of a rectangle. So here's the guy we need to use. So perimeter is 34. So 34 equals. And then 2 times... They, they didn't give us the length. So 2 times the length plus 2 times, and the width is 5. Okay? 2 times 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. And we need to take that 10 away from this 34. So 34 minus 10 is 24. That means in this um, box, equals 24 but since we're multiplying by 2 we have to cut 24 in half so this would be 12 so your answer to number 5 would be 12 yards and we can check it by plugging in the numbers and making sure that they all add up to be 34 so 12 and 5 and 12 and 5. We add those together. 12 and or 2 and 5 is 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 5 is 14. Put down the 4, carry the 1, 34. So we got the perimeter right. Just remember to cut in half whatever number you come up with for the 2 times uh, the length or 2 times the width. Okay. 96 square feet. Oh, we're doing area. Okay. And they have given us the height. We need to find the base. So, area is 96 equals base times 8. So, we are dividing 96 by 8 to find the base. If I go to the 8 row, go find 96 and go up. So, our base would be... 12. 12 feet. Okay. And this next one, the area equals 126 square centimeters. So we need the height. They gave us the base. Area 
equals, well, area 126 equals the 9 times the height. So now we've got to divide 126 by 9. 126 divided by 9. We can't divide 1 by 9, so we look at this as a 12. 12 9 goes into 12 one time. 1 times 9 is 9. 12 minus 9 is 3. Remember, we don't say 2 minus 9. We look at this as a 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. 3 is less than 9. Bring down the 6. 9 goes into 36 four times. 4 times 9 is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. 0 is less than 9. There's nothing left to bring down, so our answer is 14. We can check that by multiplying 14 times 9, and it should equal 126. 9 times 4 is 36. Put down the 6, carry the 3. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 3 is 12. Okay, so we got it. All right, last one. A square has an area of 49 square inches. Explain how to find the perimeter of the square. So that is a lot like what we wrote down on question number, if you turn back on question number two on the first page. So I'm looking for 49 on my multiplication table. 49, you guys see a 49? There's a 49, and look, it's on the seven row, and if I go up, it's seven. Remember, with a square, the sides are all the same length. So, um, explain how to find the perimeter of the square. So first, we would have to find the side length of the square. So we know that we've got a square here, and they say the area equals 49, inches squared. Well, to find the perimeter, I'm first going to have to figure out what the side lengths are. And I know 7 times 7 is 49. And so, but then the perimeter of a square is 4 times one of those side lengths. So perimeter equals um, 4 times 7. So the perimeter would equal 28. So Here's what we're going to write down. Um, first, find the side length which is 7 because 7 times 7 equals 49. Then multiply 28 inches. Okay, so whoops. First find the side length, which is 7, because 7 times 7 equals 49. Then multiply the side length of 7 times 4, the number of sides. It equals 28 inches. Okay, so real quick, we're going to look at your assignment. I know this is kind of difficult. I know it is. It's probably the most difficult thing that um, we've done in videos. So um, on your assignment, um, let's see here. You guys 
we'll do number two together. How about it? Okay, so it says the perimeter is 42 meters and the side length is nine. So here's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use the perimeter of a rectangle. So perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width. And they gave us the width of nine. So now I'm gonna plug in that width of nine and plug in for the perimeter, which is 42. So now what's two times nine? It's 18. And so now, um, since it's an add, since we're adding these two together to get this, in order to find the difference, we have to subtract. So 42 minus 18. And two minus eight can't do it. Make that a three, make that a 12. 12 minus eight is four. Three minus one is two. So in this box is 24. And since we're multiplying two times something to equal 24, that means the length would be 12, right? So the length is 12 and we're talking about meters. Okay, um, so you guys, um, are just going to divide on number three and four um, to find um, to find the missing height or base. Um, and on number four, it's you're going to divide 200 by 25. Think about quarters. Think about how many 25 cent quarters it takes to equal two dollars. Okay. And then, um, use the same formula we just did um, for number five, okay? All right, so your assignment's page 741. As soon as you do 741, tear it out. Make sure and put it all together um, with all your other math papers. And these are the pages that you need to turn in on May 14th. Um, I have a surprise for you guys when you come on May 14th. I already gave you your pinwheels. I hope you guys are liking them. I hope they're not breaking apart. Um, but make sure you come in to drop off your assignments on May 14th because I want to say goodbye to you and give you your end of the year surprise. So. I love you. I miss you. Talk to you soon.